I'm Ross. This is Tokyo. Tokyo Sky Tree in the distance there. 634 meters high, that's twice the height of Eiffel Tower. Zooming out a bit. And let's crawl around here. Here to my balcony. We're going to go down there later. Maybe you can just about see that. There we go. That is the main shopping center here in Ikebukuro, Sunshine Street. It's a Sunday. It's going to be crowded. It's going to be fun. So it's the beginning of May here. It's the first Sunday in May. And it's, uh, it's a Mother's Day in Japan here. So happy Mother's Day to everyone around the world. A um, little bit warm today, getting a little bit humid. I've heard it's going to be a really hot summer, so I'm not really looking forward to that. But at the moment, it's great weather to go uh, exploring around Tokyo. Well. Ikebukuro, which is my hometown, uh, which is uh, in the northwest part of uh, Tokyo on the Yamanote line. It's a green line if you look at the rail map, which is circles Tokyo. If you go from if you're from London, the Yamanote line is the same as the circle line, so the northwest part of Tokyo. So let's have a look and see what we're going to find. Crowded. It's so noisy. Sunday's the noisiest day of the weekend. that wasn't the most crowded I've seen it sometimes you can't walk one step without bumping into somebody but uh, that was still pretty crowded cool I just discovered another little temple which I didn't know existed let's check it out I really want to ring that bell. That looks amazing. But can't read kanji, but I'm pretty sure that says don't ring the bell. This is actually the temple I was trying to find. Discovered it about a year ago. Check it out.
course, this place is so peaceful. The key to my voice down, there's quite a few people here. I don't want to disturb them. But this is a gorgeous little garden. It's a midget or garden. I can I find I can I found about a year ago. And it's the most beautiful thing. Take a look. So that was Medjidor Garden, a little oasis right in the heart of uh, Ikebukuro. I wish Aiko and I had discovered it earlier. I love spending time there. It's awesome. Check this out, architecture fans. I bet you didn't think that Mr. Frank Lloyd Wright would have a building built right here in Tokyo. Well, here we are. So just why is there a Frank Lloyd Wright building in Ikebukuro? Well, I'm just looking at the, the placard here. It says here, Nyonichikan, the house of tomorrow, was designed and built during 1921 to 1927 as the facilities of Jiu Gakuen, a private school funded by Mr. Yoshikazu and Mrs. Motoko Hanin. Wow. In 1997, because of its cultural significance and the fact that there's very few Frank Lloyd Wright buildings here in Japan. The government declared it a protected or a listed building, as we'd say in the UK. So that's pretty cool, huh? Things you find in Ikebukuro. Nice. So those were some of the more peaceful, tranquil and uh, traditional areas around my home station, Ikebukuro. Uh, it's still a pretty bustling city and one day we'll take a look around and have a look at some of the more modern parts. But I think that's it. that's it for today. Have a good life, have a good day, and be nice to each other. See you later.